Hello guys, it's Skill Gem here, and I'm back again with some more cool unboxings. This is going to be a ton of Sonic stuff, so if you're a Sonic fan, stick around. We've got quite a bit to get through. So this first one has come from Eb10. You've uh, heard about me, well, you've heard me mention Eb10 quite a few times so far. Just crack into this with me titanium butter knife. There we go. Uh, yeah, so I've been sitting on these packages for a little while now, to be fair. Obviously, if you've tried yourself to ship anything to or from Japan at the moment, I'm pretty sure you can't, or at least um, not by plane. I think you can do sea mail, but who wants to do that? Um, really, it's going to take ages to come. But that is obviously because of the, the Russia fiasco thing that's going on at the moment in the world. Um, they've suspended, well, Japan's suspended shipping. Uh, one of the countries is the UK. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's different for you guys, but for the UK at least, they've suspended shipping. So we've got quite a few things here. Um, I've opened this from the bottom, just because it makes it easier in terms of um, well, hiding addresses and that sort of stuff. So we've got a large Sonic Rock. So this is like the Rock merchandise. Um, I'm not quite sure what it is as like. <laughs> Is an actually an, an aid and can't talk. I'm not sure what it is actually an aid of this rock theme. Whether it's just a, a line of merch they're going for, or it actually means something, and um, like some sort of an, a Japanese event that's some sort of sonic rock thing going on. I don't know. Or uh, I just saw. It, I just thought it was pretty, you know, breaking stuff as well. Uh, just thought it was a cool line of merchandise. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? That's like a an amp. You've got a, a button badge there, Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, what have they gone for there? They've gone for Rock O. Rockin', rockin' Sonic, of course. Rockin' Sonic the Hedgehog. And then you've got a um, sort of like a um, Plectrum. Is that what they're called? I think they're called Plectrums, aren't they? Um, it's just a key ring. I'm not sure if there's a design on the other side. Do we dare take a look? Let's have a quick check. No, it's just, you can see there, it's just white on the bottom. So we hadn't needed to open that, and to be fair, it's, it's one of those nice. For some reason, I find Japan have the correct size packaging for any anything. If you, if you ever, like, I'm sure if you order stuff from Japan, it always comes in the perfect sized little resealable bag things. I don't know how they do it, because it takes me a good job finding anything, really like this. Look in the glass, this is perfectly sized as well. So I've just ripped that actually, which is slightly annoying, but let's do that anyway so we don't rip the, the sticker over that side. That's not too bad. Don't mind a little, the odd rip occasionally. But yeah, what's going on? It's about 20 pieces. It will be. So, let's see what this is. So this is just a little... They, they tend to do this on Ab10 like Sonic merchandise and little collectibles and um, collector's editions of things. Got another one here. And how are we getting in this thing? Do do do. There we go. Oh, see what I mean? Everything's in its own correctly sized little bloody bag thing, which is is neat. But so we've got. I'm going to put that one at the back, I would say. That's the right way, or well, the correct way up, right? So it should just squeeze in that gap. Perfect. Quite nice, actually. Normally they're quite flimsy, some of these things, but that's gone in pretty snug. And we've got the logo in front there as well, which has gone in equally as snug. And yeah, that looks pretty cool, actually. Nice sort of 3D effect going on there. Um, that's kind of like an amp as well, isn't it? A little bloody um, original iPod thing, <laughs> but yeah, I like that. Uh, we've got the T-shirt. I'm not going to crack that out. You can kind of see what that is. It's the same, same design. I don't believe there was anything on the back. Go on, we'll have a quick check just in case. Might as well be, might as well be furry. Oh, 
I'll be wearing this shirt anyway. Oh, it has. It's got a little Rock and Sonic a Hedgehog on the back there. That's pretty cool. Anything on the sleeves? Not that sleeve. Uh, not that sleeve, but it's yeah, it's a nice design actually. It's got nice thick print actually. Um, sometimes they can be quite slippy, slidey these things, but that's like a nice, nice texture. Uh, if that's selling it to you, I don't know. And then we've got the, I was going to say soundtrack, but it's not really a soundtrack. But what is it? It's um, is it like a rock reimagined? Maybe that's the whole theme behind this this line of merch. Is it this soundtrack they've done? So Sonic Thirtieth Sessions. Let's crack into this bad boy. You know what? I cringe every time someone says bad boy, so I don't know why I'm saying it. The Obi strip. Just show you that quickly. Show you that bad boy. <laughs> Um, yeah, Ronic, what am I saying? <laughs> Ronic, Rock in Sonic the Hedgehog Sessions. Always a bugger to get the CD out the first time. Um, so let's see what we've got track listing wise. So, 30th sessions, so there's four 30th sessions, Sonic Racing. I don't know why, what, I don't know why they've done that. And well, maybe we'll find out why they've, they've listed the five and then they've gone back to number one. But we've got Escape from the City Funk Remix, performed by Sonic Adventure Music Experience featuring Lin Inaizumi. Is that Persona Lin? We've got Live and Learn, acoustic version, performed by Crush40. And we've got Fist Bump Edgy, Ooh, Edgy Remix, performed by Tyler Sm Smith, or Smith, is it? Andy Bain and June Snowy. And then we've got. So it's just them three for some reason they've chose to talk about. Um, right, okay, so that makes more sense then. So we've got Escape from the City Funk Remix, Live and Learn Acoustic Version, Fist Bump Edgy Remix, Continuum, 30th Sessions Version. So the original version taken from Sonic the Hedgehog 3, okay. We've got Sonic Racing, Beyond the Speed of dot 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 Remix. So that's originally from Sonic Runners. Then we've got Sonic Special Remix Sessions. We've got Welcome to Station Square Remix 2019. So the original version obviously from Sonic Adventure. Can you feel the sunshine? Nice, reimagined. Originally taken from Sonic R. Splash Hill Zone Medley. So that's from Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1. And Underground Zone Reimagined. And that's from the 8-bit version of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. We've got the lyrics to Can You Feel the Sunshine there? Which everyone knows off by heart anyway, don't they? Right, let's book it back in. There we go. Making for compelling um, video watching here, guys. You're watching me struggle to put the little booklet back in. Riveting stuff. So, let's move all this shite over there. I'll put stuff back in the packaging later if I want to. But we're going to move on to package number two. So, this is from Sega Shop UK or Europe. You know, um, they've just had a 60% off sale, was it? Or some sort of a sale, I think it was 60%. God, this knife's crap. There we go. Um, so yeah, I picked up quite a few things in the sale. And it was like 30 quid <laughs> for all that you're about to see. So I picked up the Supersonic Tubstuck, because that's the only one that I haven't got. I've got the, um, the first four, Sonic, Tails, Knuckles and Robotnik, or Eggman. This is Supersonic. I've also got Beat from Jetset Radio and I've got two real as you can see. <laughs> of course. So let's see what else I picked up. The Sonic Mug and Puzzle Combo. So 100 piece jigsaw. Hopefully that's easy because I picked up, I think it's a 200 piece one um, that looked really cool. And uh, I didn't even know where to start. That's probably the the most difficult jigsaw I've ever <laughs> come across, to be fair. I know there's like some crazy um, numbers pieces you can get, like this Disney one I've seen. That's like, I, I don't even know if anyone can complete it on the lifespan. It's like that big. Um, if you remember, I did that Shenmue jigsaw. That was fun. That took a couple of weeks, to be fair. Um, that time lapse video. Um, but that's probably the, the hardest jigsaw I've done 
in terms of um, actually finishing one. But yeah, I'll give this one a go. 100 piece doesn't sound too bad, right? Like if you've done 10, you've done 10%, 10 pieces on I me. Mean. I'm pretty sure I can do 10 pieces. And then after that, it just gets easy and easy, doesn't it really, Jigsaw? I think. <laughs> this one, I think, I know what this is. This um, should be a lampshade, Sonic lampshade. Um, so I have to be really careful not to, not that I'm going to do it with this knife, but i um, got to be really careful not to pierce it, of course, otherwise that defeats the whole purpose of the shade. Which it is. It's a sonic paper shade. So it's like one of those globe things that you put around a dangly light bulb. Um, so my idea, yeah, it looks like that, by the way. It's like a lantern, a Chinese lantern thing. So my idea was to put that over my daughter's uh, yeah, and can't help but fall in love with Sonic then, can she, if she's uh, constantly looking up at him? It's a good idea, isn't it? And the final, I think that's the final one. Okay, so it wasn't too bad, actually, overall. So this one, again, I'm going to have to be careful to pierce this one. This is really cool, actually. I've already got one of these, and we've got one in the lounge. Lounge? Yeah, living room, you know what I mean. And... Um, Honestly, this is so, so cheap for what you're getting. The size of this mat, I would recommend anyone that's got a gaming room or a space within your house that, you know, like, oh, might be quite nice to put a mat down here. Pick up this mat, guys, because this, you can see how ridiculously big this mat is. I was surprised, actually, how big it is. I'll show you, actually. I'll, let me, um, I'll show you the design in a sec, one sec. Let me move it. Okay, guys, there it is. I don't know if it gives, it does it justice for the size. I suppose it does, because I can barely fit it on the bloody camera. But yeah, I thought it might be quite nice under my desk. So I've got something warmish to put my feet on. Um, yeah, because I've got a, a mat by my door. That's, um, I'll show you. It's that kind of thing, dog bed there, it's my slippers. Um, but yeah, this is a, a really good, mat that just kind of fits the door kind of perfect there so moving around here there's a nice spot for this um i can imagine this being in like a, an arcade that kind of style of mat which i quite like um so yeah really cool mat that one and like i say it's it's really big i was i was surprised how big it is i forget the price on this but go on the sega shop europe website check out the prices like i say they had a sale on I don't know if it's still on, I believe so. And if they've got this mat, I would recommend this mat out of all the products. And I think it was like seven quid maybe. Um, so, um, but <laughs> my recommendation for you guys. So yeah, that's it guys. Uh, I'm gonna end the video pointing down at the, uh, the mat there. Thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed that one. Quite a few Sonic products there, especially the rock stuff was pretty cool, eh? Uh, yeah. See you again on the next one.